Yes, guys, we're going to be watching uh, the stream. We're going to be watching the stream as soon as it goes live, which... Oh, it is live. Okay, it starts in two minutes, right. Hi, Teria, and welcome to Guild Chat. I'm your host, Ruby. Thank you all for joining us today. I'm super excited about today's show because I know a lot of you have had questions about how skiffs and fishing work, and we are here today to show you answers to hopefully all of those questions, if not most it. of them. Um, with me in the studio today myself. is Nick Hernandez. Hey, Nick. Hi, I'm Nick Hernandez. Nice to meet you, everybody. And joining me in game, our, oh, in game. our senior environment artist Tracy West. Oh shit! Here we go. Uh, game designer John Hardgrove and senior gameplay engineer it's Paul the, it's in the game, guys. So thank it's you leaked. all three for joining us in game to help us with skips and fishing today. We're gonna jump right in after two quick things before we get Map started. footage. End of Dragons is a work in progress. You know it's not uh -oh. done. We're still working on it. We are playing in a development environment today. So you're going to see things like temporary text and placeholder icons and placeholder NPCs here and there. Just partner dust. We're working to make End of Dragons awesome for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And also, there are still a lot of things that we don't want to spoil for you. So we are going to be hiding a few things from you here and there. Um, if it looks like we're hiding something, that's because we are. Ooh, but we have some more surprises secret. to share with you down Shame the line. Shame you guys couldn't hide the elite specialization <laughs> weapons. Nah, okay, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. Like yeah, actually, something additional that I'd like to note is <laughs> yeah. that uh, in a lot of the promotional material that we've been having recently, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of it's based around Xing Jie, and uh, <laughs> we're actually getting to kind of exist in that space. Um, a little bit of that space, at least. You know, very, very tiny portion. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's just really neat to be able to... Where's the water? Where's the hydration, yeah, by the I'm, way? I'm excited to. I want a desk that. shot. Um, Mark, we might be having some audio issues. Oh, is it out of Funny. sync? Uh, oh, no, I guess it is, yeah. John is letting me know. That's so a little bit out of sync, I guess. Have, um, Mark is looking yeah, into okay, that yeah, I see while it. we get started fishing. Um, Nick, why don't you start us off with how you begin Ooh, fishing, how let's you go. get your first fishing gear, and all that good stuff. Yeah, Reaper, sure. good choice. So basically, um, very similar to the way you get raptors within Path of Fire, uh, within this expansion, we, um, we wanted to have fishing be something that you could unlock pretty much right off the bat. So uh, as you progress through the No uh, one has ever tried story, fishing before um, the expansion. That's the, that's the law, right? At some point, <laughs> no, no one's um, even once tried. completed uh, specific instances, you're going to just be able to unlock fishing right off the bat. And it'll allow you to, you know, um, it'll reward you with your first fishing rod, you know, and a starting like lure, as an example, uh, to make sure you can just go out into the world and start whenever you want, just toss it in there and get to, get to fishing. Um, mm -hmm. I think that, um, you know, uh, they're of course going to be like the base level ones, but something to note is that with fishing rods specifically, uh -oh. uh, they do not have any durability, Ooh. which is um, different to other kind of resources. I thought he was going to slam us with the gem store, uh, the unbreakable game, like fishing rod. Picks or the sickle. Mm -hmm. um, so with fishing rods specifically, the fishing rod will not break. Um, okay. We do have charges for the lures all right, and all right. the bait. Oh. Um, but that's because they have different tiers and things like that, which okay. we'll see a little bit later. All right, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. All right, so why don't we first, <laughs> let's go through the fishing mastery line. You guys got so baited, dude. So you all can see what the fishing masteries are. And you got a baited as fuck. context for what we talk about as we're fishing. The first one in the fishing mastery line that you're going to unlock is fishing oh, hole XP? mastery. And that gives you faster catches and triple XP Ooh. at fishing holes. The second one is Angler Sense, which gives you a fish. unlocks a skill Sense that fish. <laughs> detects nearby fishing holes. I'm going to show you on my map. This detects nearby fishing holes and lights them up on the map so you can find where the fishing holes are. You can see oh. that right down here in front of Nick. There are shore fish, 471 away. Uh, the third one is fishing on a full tank. This gives you plus 50 fishing power if you are nourished. Fishing oh. power is a new stat that is going to come in with this mastery Wait, line I'm, that <laughs> grants a higher chance of catching rare that? fish and plus makes 50 fishing, fishing a new meta builds, in difficult dude. regions. So <laughs> the fourth one is master caster. That increases your maximum fishing range. And fishing the final power. one is local legend. Fishmongers and oh. fishing merchants in Cantha will give you exclusive selections. With that said, let's go fishing. Uh, fishing nodes like this one that we are standing in front of now have the best chance of giving 
good rewards and the highest rarity fish. You can fish anywhere in the game world that there is water, though. Um, fishing is not only in End of Dragons, it's going to be throughout the game world. Yep, and they said that this means before. also in the water in your guild halls. Oh! Um, let's get guild started. Nick, why don't you run us through how to fish? For sure. Um, so basically, uh, as I mentioned earlier, very similar to oh, bait. Um, oh, that's very similar to other areas, you want to make sure that you can equip things like your, um, your rod power. and your lures and your bait, um, and you can just do that right from your inventory. Uh, but the way that uh, you actually bait in access the gem your rod store. is a bit different. So, uh, you know, we introduced the novelties uh, button. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure out what the right name is for it, but button. Um, on the bottom right, under the uh -huh, um, uh -huh, uh -huh. under the mount selection, um, but now we have another button under oh. the swap weapon select. Um, oh, that's what that, that button was, huh? For okay, yeah, fishing, yeah, because that button appeared in the game, didn't it? That's so super what interesting. Actually, is when you click on the start fishing one, it'll actually give you your fishing rod and give you the ability to utilize skills. In this case, right now, we have cast line, and um, as Ruby mentioned before, we have the angler sense on your fishing rod. Okay, uh, okay. Whenever you choose to cast line, it will give you this little bobber that you'll see, and um, it just kind of shows you where you'll be able to put it. Okay, uh, okay. So you can see on terrain, you won't be able to put it, so it turns Show red, me the minigame. In the water, it will turn the appropriate color blue. Uh, once you actually. Uh, Pretty cool put looking it out map. There, as well. do a quick kind of fun fact. Take a look at the map, guys. see is that the bob will show up. Um, as you can see, mine over here, it's currently sitting there, and Ooh. whenever it splashes with the with the water ripples, that's when you know that there is a fish on the okay, line. Okay, there's a fish on the so line. Wait for mine, and then you click on one. Oh, mini game! And this UI appears, where there is a bar that fills up to success. Uh, there is this uh, yellow thing called the sweet spot, and then this little green thing we call the fish marker. So what happens is you can use your two oh. and three buttons. Oh, dude! You, oh, to, uh, oh shit! Okay, yeah, that's marker. a pretty cool little video game. So you can you follow can it around, right? That, you have to like follow it around that. Okay, yeah. Your success the bar. fish marker. That has filled up completely. Simple mini game. Uh, what simple mini game. You will get the fish. I think that's not. And you'll have succeeded in not fishing. Not super crazy. Um, I think I've seen very similar mechanics in other much titles. The, that's not way of being super crazy it. in terms um, of mechanics. This is other. Is there? Uh, I wonder if there's any more to it. Like, know, is that it? Uh, with within this game. Uh, okay, so we've got a fish. Fish, you will actually be able to um, use them as crafting. Uh, okay, we convert it. Agents and things like that, uh, and materials. So what happens is whenever you click on the fish after you've caught it, you will um, fillet the fish, and you will oh, get crafting materials. Oh, dude, stay safe, you legend man. Thank you so much for the raid man. And, Come and uh, enjoy this fishing like, with us. Into, uh, fish, Sorry, uh, I was totally and enamored. And like Welcome, that. stay safe. Uh, Sorry, I was struggling over here. To the <laughs> fish zone. <laughs> it, 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 can, it can be a little, a little tricky sometimes. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's yeah. pretty much it, right? You've got your um, you've got your fishing mini game, and then you've got the ability to actually do things with the fish once you've caught them. Okay, is that it? All right, um, fish are also part of collections. There are fishing collections all around the world. These are repeatable collections. The first time you finish one of the fishing collection, it will give you achievement points and a, another reward that we're not going to tell you about quite yet. Oh. And then subsequent completions fish will gizmo. give you more of that reward. Um, you'll find out eventually. It's not just that we're never going to tell you. Uh, I do have a couple of fishing collections to share with you as a little preview collections. today. Uh, Legendary Fisher fishing rod. Is one of the ones, one of obviously the first ones that we will come to. Okay, what do you get for And it? I wanted to share uh, Shiver Peaks Fisher is Ooh. another one that's available. I kind of like this one because uh, somebody, John, got a little <laughs> punny with it. <laughs> so you have fish in there like Lornar's Bass and Beacon's Perch. Um, <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, are, yeah that's, that's funny. I just like that's funny. They're, They're dumb, and I love them. There's nothing wrong with a good yeah. pun. So we've been fishing from shore mm -hmm. here. I like it. Let's go on the skiff. I think I have fished this Let's get in out while you were talking. Wow! But that you took is all the not fish. the only way to do it. You can also fish from your skiff. So let's talk okay, about okay. that. Okay. Uh, Nick, do you want to walk us through how you get your first skiff? For sure. Um, so, uh, contrary bass. to how you get fishing, <laughs> um, with the skiffs themselves, it's more like how you would uh, get other mounts within Path of Fire, um, okay. like the skimmer or the jackal. They had hearts. Yeah, it's a lot of masteries, guys. Utilize the jackal or the skimmer in like rentable versions. And once you've completed it, you would have the ability to unlock the skimmer or the jackal. Um, with it, with uh, with this expansion, you do the exact same thing with skiffs. 
Okay. So uh, there is a heart uh, specifically within Xingzhi that Learn once you use enter it. and complete the heart, you will gain access hearts, to Hearts, yes. Uh, hearts confirmed, by the way, guys. Hearts are back um, in note, Guild that Wars 2 End of Dragons. Today, um, because of the fact that it does have narrative tie-ins. Uh-oh, sure no leaks. Spoil those things for you all. Yeah. yeah. All right, so once you have your skiff, you can summon it one of two ways. We're going to show you. The first one is from Shore. And this one is kind of fun because you can. Interesting, they're using the, the same tech, right? Yeah, you how, can like. Oh, how dude, and where you want your skiff to be pointing. It's a when cool you interface. Get it in the water. Look at that! Look at that! Look at it go. You see, as I'm turning it, you have the directional arrows showing you. Yeah, yeah, go, 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 so go, go. Once you have it where you want it. Boom. I, I don't want to run over Nick. Okay, I'm back with, run him over. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it's like, you also don't want to drop a boat on your friend's head. It's not going to hurt them, but it is kind of rude. So. I'm going to try to avoid that. So once you've got that set, boom in the water. And one quick thing, this is the Xingjie Dragon Boat Skiff skin. Ah. If you have purchased the <laughs> deluxe or ultimate editions of End of Dragons, exclamation mark GW2 in the getting. chat. Um, it's a little different than the picture because I had I played fun with die. Um, you can also summon it from I the water fun wherever you are, and, and yeah, you can die it. Look at that. that. So you could, yeah. you could come on, you can die skiffs too, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Mine's not and there you go. Now we have the we have the summon. Yours, I Dude, I like that the character is actually I steering it. I really it. like that. Um, it's not like John completely just automated. The character actually moves like it. I think that's really good. Covered in algae by the dye that he used. So I like the variety. Yeah, I'm love the animation there. Very good. Big aqua colored. Theme boat. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so let's go through the skiff masteries real quick. So Ooh. again, you have context and you know what all you're going to be unlocking, and you understand what you're looking at when we go through this. First one that you will unlock for skiffs is full throttle. Oh, this gives you speed. the ability to go faster in your skiff. Next one is depth charges, which is the one that I super like. If you are just trying to get somewhere, <laughs> enemies approach, you can drop a depth charge Whoa, and sink blow them, them up. to get them out of the way. Uh, speed boost gives you a short burst of speed. I actually really like what Fishing they've done, by the way. I think they've ported cool the animations a bit, made them look skiff, a little bit, a little bit better in the water when they move. I actually like that a lot. It's good. Power equal to the number of catches from fishing nodes that you make. Wait, what? And finally, the oh, so you like can stack it up. Pull. This gives plus five thousand HP to your skiff. Um, somebody has called target on me, and I'm very afraid. <laughs> 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 so let's all hop in into we go. the skiff. Board the skiff. I am the captain. You are the captain. Um, I ran us aground earlier, so this should be interesting. Finkle. Um let's, let's go. Let's go over more details and do some fishing. Let's roll. Nick, why don't you walk us through what all's going on here? Everybody is very excited to for, with me behind the wheel again. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so basically, uh, what you're seeing right now is still that lacking our a bit of inertia. I feel like. Well, maybe that's just not um, how boats with work. Skiffs, oh, no. uh, the max amount of individuals that you can actually have on them is going to be five, which is your entire party size. I feel like you should almost like drift a bit driver. more, you know what I mean? Like you should be drifting um, a bit in this? Well, you'll probably notice of, like, though, the water. from my perspective, is that Maybe there's not. this giant rainbow of different icons here. Uh, the reason for that is that anybody who is a passenger in the boat actually has the ability to uh, have different emotes that they can use as they're going through. Dude, I love the reflections, um, man. They're way, utilizing you know, water very well here. Look at that. Do some <sighs> stuff while, they're sitting, while they're sitting on the boat being driven around. Um, One of this DX11 probably a is a functional guess. reason for it as well, which is uh, the turbo mastery that Ruby had mentioned earlier, where it's basically like a nitrous boost for your for your skiff. Um, whenever your uh, party members utilize those emote skills, what it does is it completely refills the stamina bar that gets utilized with that. Oh, which means that so you, you could can like just chain keep the on, boost, like pumping the boost <laughs> as much as you want. That's fun, actually. Um, I like that. That's good. If we want to, if we want to look <laughs> at mine go. just real quick, we can yeah. we can show it. Go that go go like. go go. Yeah. All right, turbo. I need people to emote. Oh, see, you. Also, <laughs> so you have a, a collaboration here, right? Yeah, not, that's fun. Uh, these, are, these icons are not. I like that. That's good because like, it means that everyone's right involved in basically like driving, your, even only though one person's driving. Bar, Other people are also skills. involved too. That's very good. I like um, that. That's that's smart by reading yeah. it. That's it's so, a good way of doing you know, it. That's pretty much it. We can also. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm actually going to dismount <laughs> and be <laughs> left. Skiff racing, yeah. dude. Uh, and team the racing. For that is so that way, if you, uh, what we can you, what we can showcase is that players actually have the ability to swap seats whenever there's one that's open. Um, if there are no open seats, the you won't be able to swap around. But um, when there is an open seat, you can you can kind of move around to like okay. people who want to sit in the front, want to sit in the back, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, 
Another thing that is really interesting about skiffs specifically Fish. is that you actually have the ability to anchor your skiff, which is something that's a bit newer with this expansion, because what that does is it actually uh, generates a party-specific collision within any part Ooh. of the world. Okay, what you can't grief with it. You can't like body block people with it. <laughs> skiff, players can actually run around on it like it's just a normal platform. <laughs> um, what's also really cool about that's, this they, is they that, that it's a bit uh, <laughs> troll-proof. In that yeah, sense, yeah, yeah, because, yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Person, if there's yeah, anybody that's not in your party, they don't have the yeah. ability to like hop onto the boat. They don't have the ability to run their boats into yours, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, um, you missed a trick there, there's boys. There's also like Would've been some fun. other functional reasoning for for why we have it based around your party, and that uh, has to do with the tie-in. And fishing, now you can fish on it, right? Specifically, um, so we wanted to kind of blend these two, uh, you know, features together and as best as we could. And mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. way that we did that was by having fishing parties, right? So um, once your uh, skiff is anchored, yeah, they you have the ability they to come fish out to a fish pool as well. And whenever somebody successfully fishes from a node, they will get a buff uh, called fish party, if I'm not mistaken. I am, um, I am fishing right now to try to get that up and running. So yeah, I will if also. I can stop struggling with my fishing pole long enough. So everyone can, fishes sure and everyone we'll gets succeed. better at fishing. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Probably. Yeah, yeah, fish power. Check out that yeah, stacking yeah, fish power buff. Okay, Check so that out, guys. As you can see in the bottom right, it's called fishing party. And basically the way that fishing party works is that it increases the fishing power that you have um, per, per stack of the buff. And it's like a three okay. times multiplier. So yep. for, each, uh, for each one, you're, I think it's like multiplying whatever your base value was by three. And currently, uh, the max stack size is like 99 stacks. So you so and your party fish can just like whatever, go from node to node, get up a huge amount, and just be Ooh, absolute fishing legends. Fish god! Uh, which is pretty fantastic. Um, I think another thing to note actually from this is that if you look, uh, so this one's called fishing fish, meta build fish only. Um, fish power because, maxed like, out uh, must we be required. Sure that it wasn't just what the hell was that? He's got he's got fucking hacks, so, like, bro. Uh, you just saw me cheat a little bit there. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> There are some nodes, like short, short fish nodes, which you can fish from uh, without needing to utilize your skiff. You can just go to wherever there is land, wherever there is a thing, and then toss the fishing kill into proof, there. ping fishing um, there are also power. Offshore nodes, and those ones meta builds are only going to need you to utilize your skiff because of the fact they'll that be too far away from land, like right? In the middle of the ocean, right yeah. in the middle of deep water. Um, what's also really interesting about those things is the fact that. Uh, each one has different kinds of fish that you can catch from it. So uh, the shore nodes have different, uh, you know, fish that you can acquire. Uh, oh no, they the, left them behind. Deeper, the, Hack sorry, onto the boat. The offshore nodes. And what that allows for is just a bit more diversity <laughs> oh. in each area. A little, uh, little sorry, clip Sorry, I was like, hey, let's have a, a little, boat uh, little clip. Okay. I'm sorry, I've gone completely off script, but you know, whatever. Uh, so something else to note is that um, if... Uh, you can be a little trolly with your friends because, like, so oh, Tracy yes. just parked her boat, and because it's party specific collision, if Ruby tries to drive into uh, oh. her boat, what happens is that. Oh, that's big! <laughs> I can't. So, wait, if you have five it, skiffs it, it in the same it, party, right? you can so, actually um, run into each other. Oh, a let's go! With your friends, right? And if they're going like full turbo speed, nice. it actually like rears out the water the too. Party, that's kind of nice physics then. Park yours in front of them ah. and then like have them crash or like ramp up off of it. Yeah, you can like and link them all together and make like a bridge really and you can like run across. Uh, it's actually pretty interesting. Like you can do some kind of creative um, things with crossing water by doing that. that Although yeah, I guess I you think, have the skimmer think, too. Yeah, so. but just your friends that you partied with. <laughs> I think that's Wait, pretty much it for all of the extra details for now though. I've, I've I think I got through all of them. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, uh, did we talk about when you raise the anchor, everybody has to sit down because oh, safety. We did, we did not, yeah. Um, oh, so, yeah, you just fall through I guess. Because of the fact that, you know, you have a party and you're trying to keep them all within a specific boat. We wanted to try to re uh, remove as many edge case, edge case situations and edge, edge case bugs as possible. So because of that, um, once the boat gets uh, unanchored, it checks to see how many uh, players are within the area that are part of the party, and then it sits them down. Right? It's just like everybody. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So down. yeah, We're otherwise done. you would We're just fall through it. That Hands makes sense. Seat belts. The boat. Yeah. Seat belts. Safety first. All right, I do want to call out one just little thing on mm -hmm. mine, and you can see on my screen, Mark, if we can look at mine. There is a cool little animation deal. Um, oh. Turn my boat around. Yep. Where if you turn. Yeah, I actually I can't really do like this. This the is the kind of detail that I really enjoy. So it actually changes that the, the character is actually steering here and actually team. using the rudder and okay. is animated. That's very good. All right, I think we have fished that node out. I'm just checking to see if there's another one nearby. Uh, you, what you could do is you could use the. Uh, 
the mastery skill. The English sense. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was English. doing. Ooh, um, don't look at my screen sense. right now because <laughs> because doing possible, things. Possible hey, things, yeah. all right. I found another fishing node. Uh, and I'm okay, okay, okay. What's okay. really cool okay. though is that with Angler Sense, uh, I think John wanted us to also mention this as well. Is that it's kind of I think if I remember correctly, the first one of the first masteries uh, that actually oh, has someone that fell off? skill show up in multiple areas. You can use it while you have your fishing rod out, but you can also use it from the skiff itself. So there's a bit of a oh, dual yeah. usage there um, whenever you have it unlocked. But Angler Sense, I think specifically, you only well, need to awesome. it from the fishing. It's, it's well, like this in game, guys. It's just using the reflections. It's literally areas. like this in game no, right now. Uh, you could, if you want to see water like this, go literally to any body of water right, so in Guild Wars 2 with reflections on. That is the on. basics of skiffs and fishing. I am excited to see yes, hero points, guys. party boats wow, who and how thought that? they're <laughs> tooling around emoting and how people use fishing and skiffs. Make your, make your, make your skiff races. I want to see. Ooh. Um, wait, do you not, wait, are they not dedicated skiff races? I'm just races? watching to see what Nick's Surely doing. they've added Actually, skiff races, uh, no? If we, if we want to show, showcase this as well, real quick as well. Um, yeah. Whenever, so what's really interesting as well is that uh, if we all anchor our skiffs, why does it say I'm moving? Oh, it's because I'm too close to Tracy. One second. Or am I too close to you? Uh, do I don't thing. know, but. Stop moving. <laughs> Do you uh, technical difficulties there, guys? Yeah, we have like the dance party boat I'm, over here in Tracy. It's fucking bugged. I'm not moving. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, as, as Ruby mentioned, development branch, some stuff happens. Uh, Boom. True. There we go. Okay. So, like, what's really cool is that you could basically, like, in maps, build bridges. Default barges, skiff, guys, yes. Right? You can, like, we can put oh, all our right. boats right next Gem to each other. Gem like, skiff have, like, feels bad barge party. versus the default uh, pleb fact, skiff. Let me actually try to see if I can get mine in the middle of y'all. Could you do this with a uh, squad, actually? The needle, I'm say. super curious if this works in squads. Could you have, like, actually, 50 people uh, we, with skiffs make, like, a mega speeds? skiff bridge? Um, or if it's only parties? Well, I, that it was probably mentioned I bet it in works in squads, area. too, actually. 100%. Area, but there's they got a 50 more skiff so mega block. Why don't we look at yours, and you can show them off on yours. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I'm actually, yeah, but as, as, as seen, like, you can park all the boats next to each other, run across them. Like, you can create these party-specific uh, platforms. It's really interesting. But um, what's really cool? Going for a ride. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, is that uh, <laughs> there are th uh, three speed settings. Wait, look, the animation is playing on Ruby, even line, though she's not got, steering. You know, Dev brunch, by the way, guys. Holy shit! Look, you got your look, 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 look. See, like even the, even the, <laughs> even the right? Ruby's and not steering. Your, like, it's playing the steering animation on a character as well. We're 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 going we're going fast. We're zooming. We're zooming. Right, and then of course you can utilize your turbo boost, and it's just it just turns into like you know. Some some dynamic control. Yeah, look at that. That's like good. That's more like it. Bit of drift in there. Do you keep your energy bar full? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you can like so like as you nice see, wave effects, nice emotes, splash. I like it. I like it. Emote, emote, emote. Yeah, with multiple party members, you can speed emote just for an endless turbo boost. Mm -hmm. And it's it's all. I like it's that. All Encourages right, group play. Honestly. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. All right. Um, so that oh okay, still not as bad as what I did earlier. I just like tried to drive right up onto an island before. Total anchor. All there right, so go. I think that covers uh, fishing skiffs, how mm -hmm. you get them, all of the mastery lines, all of the abilities, Ooh. leaks, where you can fish, fishing collections, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. I hope that answered a lot Little of your juice. questions. Little we juice are guys. excited to see what all you do with these new features in End of Dragons. That's your rundown of fishing oh, and oh. skiffs in Guild Chat. Thank you, Nick, for joining. Thank you for having me. Thank you, me. Paul, little John, more, little and more. Tracy for joining us in game. And thanks to all of you for watching today. Uh, before we go, I have Wait. a couple of other things. No, guys, you've been on for 30 minutes. That we still have more things coming in September. The, direct the DirectX 11 beta begins on September 21st, and the first yep, yep. Lovewa Alliance nice, nice. beta starts on September 24th. Also Silhouette. on September 21st yes. is the start of the second End of Dragons Here we go. Specialization Beta event. As before, the event is open to all of you with an account, uh, with a Guild Wars 2 account in good standing. And Give me the video. join us right here next Friday on the 17th CMC. on Guild Chat for a preview of that Elite Specialization Beta event. For now, we'll leave you with a little oh, preview, oh, oh, yeah, and I will see you next week. Let's go! Oh, wait, what is that? Have a good weekend. Uh, that yeah. is Thief, maybe? Thief? Let's go, let's go, let's go! Ellie, you guys think Ellie? Oh yeah, that's hammer. That's a, that's a juicy hammer right there, guys. I've got to say it. Okay, that does look like a hammer. We have a two-handed weapon set up 
here, guys. Look at that. That does not look... Oh, oh uh... Yeah, it's clearly two-handed, right? It's a two-handed weapon. That does look like an elementalist to me, guys. That looks like an el... Yeah, what is that thing over there? What is that bizarre thing that's going on there? It's a floating thing in me over there. It's big. The orb, it's red. It is the elementalist, right? Elementalist hammer is confirmed. Confirmed Ellie hammer gameplay. Gyros, dude, okay? Ellie gy... Dude, elemental gyros are fully enabled that is big guys okay I, I'm, that's not confirmed but i'm just saying it could be you don't know right right but anyway uh that's pretty damn high actually i'm loving what they do with ellie uh, everyone thought it was going to be ng but it's going to be elementalist actually coming up here in the next the beta there so and that means guys the next beta is going to be uh warrior with pistol super cool uh, it's going to be Revenant with Greatsword and Ellie with Hammer. Definitely a good amount of diversity there. I love to see that. There's going to be some very exciting things. I'm very much looking forward to actually all of those coming up very, very shortly. So w what are we thinking about fishing, guys? Um, I... I... Okay. Right. 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 I mean, it, it's it's all right, I guess. But I was kind of expecting maybe a little bit more of a mini game to it, right? It, it's a very, very basic mini game. You know, you it, it doesn't look like it's going to be that engaging uh, whatsoever. You just like move the thing to follow the fish, basically. Doesn't seem to be engaging. Obviously, there might be more to it, right? It might be more. Uh, we might be talking about. Um, you know, you know, you might be looking at some stuff uh, like legendary fishing poles there as well. I think we actually kind of looked, kind of like learned a few things about how it's going to work. So the fishing rod is going to be basically free and you can get better ones by the sounds of it. Maybe even going up to a higher quality one. Seems like the bait and the lures, okay, or whatever, uh, are... Are, are not are actually going to have durability. That is interesting to me. I guess that's where the monetization is going to be, right? Uh, the monetization is probably going to be fishing pole skins, I guess, and also infinite bait, infinite lure. Ah, that's whatever. It's Guild Wars 2. That's what you'd expect, of course. But mechanically, it looked fine. Didn't look... Uh, what, what concerns me is that... What concerns me is that I don't really... It doesn't grab me. Like, I look at that and I see gameplay... I'm I'm not really totally enamored by it, right? Uh, it, it doesn't really say, oh yeah, you're going to be doing this in two years' time and it's going to be as good as day one. It seems like a bit of a novelty, right? Um, looks fun, yeah. How about after a thousand fish, right? Like you know how you know how about that? Skiffs look pretty cool actually. I like the design on skiffs. I think they've been well implemented actually with the speed. I like the bridge building. That's really cool. I think that's going to be entertaining. That you can do some creative stuff with that. But you know what the really sad thing, guys? Right? Uh, that you know what the sad thing with this is that I mean, mounts invalidate this completely, right? Um, the only reason to use the skiff is for fishing, and I guess that makes sense, right? You, and I, I like the idea of the fishing party, right? Where you start spamming fish, and then everyone starts fishing like crazy. But it's really cool, actually. Like, a lot of the, um, a lot of the really, um... A lot of the really interesting stuff you can do with the the skiff, like build bridges and stuff like that, and like make really big squads and do that, it's kind of irrelevant because mounts exist, which I think is a little unfortunate. But other than that, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like it.